But is there any uh, any obstacle, any difficulty in marriage? Like what I said, uh, marriage is not an institution okay. where you want to you graduate to get a certificate. Okay. Marriage is is a school that you can never get certificate from it. Why can't you get certificate from because it? Because there are challenges that will come. Immediately you want to get certificate from it, that means you are ready for divorce. Yeah, my name is Wally Pass from Amida TV. What is your name? I'm Mrs. Timothy Jennifer. What is it? I can't hear you. I'm Mrs. Timothy Jennifer. Okay, Mrs. Timothy Jennifer. Mrs. Timothy Jennifer, where are you from? I'm from Edo State. Edo State? Wow, wow. Your husband is from where? Abia State. Abia State. He's in Lagos right now? Yes. When did you uh, relocate to Lagos? Where were you living before? We are living at uh, Mowoi Bafo. Yes. Before we now relocated to Yanoba side, the Gondo side. Alright, so. How many years now have you been in Lagos? Mm, I've been in Lagos since when I was 11 years old with my auntie. Before they looked back to the village, then I moved back to the Lagos. I can't really tell. No problem. I just want to ask you a little question, Sherry Grab. I hope you can yeah, ask me very well. Like, as a married man, as a married woman, yeah, you, assuming you caught your, your, your husband cheating on you, Will you forgive him and move on with the relationship? Mm, you know, in the marriage, there are some circumstances that you just have to overlook. Especially when kids are involved, you just have to overlook it and take it like that. But for me, yes, if it happened like that, I take it as there's no big deal about it. Life goes on, we move on, we settle as if nothing happened, then we move on with our marriage. That is it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Like now, I want to ask you. Uh, as, an, as a good Nigerian, uh, can you like, uh, you have two options, be given 50 million and stay in Nigeria forever or win a visa to USA, which one will you choose? <laughs> well, there is nothing like home. Going abroad, I don't know what is over there. So I'd rather stay here and work out and work hard like a woman and stay in my land. Anything that I am, I use it to settle my family, be, be happy with my home, and feel free. I don't know what is over there that I'm rushing to go there. I don't know what's wait for me over there. So I have to just let my mind go settle here and do whatever I want to do. Focus and be mindful. So that is it. All right. Uh, let me ask you this. As a married woman, uh, you know marriage is very sweet, right? Yes. So now, uh, how many years have you been married? Yesterday was my wedding anniversary, 10 years. Wow, 10 years. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. So I, I think the 10 years was so sweet, was so glamorous. Or oh, is there any, uh, any obstacle, any difficulty in marriage? Like what I said, uh, marriage is not an institution okay. where you want to you graduate to get a certificate. Marriage is, is a school that you can never get certificate from it. Why can't you get certificate from because it? Because there are challenges that will come. Immediately you want to get certificate from it, that means you are ready for divorce. Because there is no issue that will not come in marriage. It depends on your understanding with your partner. At least, like they say, before you marry, there must be a courtship. Not a courtship of one more, two more, six more, at least three years is enough. Even though that three years, you cannot get to understand your partner clearly. So, marriage is just like a lesson that we are learning every day. We don't graduate from it. By the time you want to start graduating from your marriage, you want to, that means there's an issue. And there's no hard issue we arise. That's what I said before. It's based on understanding between you and your partner. But on my own, there are some things that you overlook. But it's sweet. Sometimes challenges will come from wife's side, from husband's side. No, we are both from different people, from coming from different places. So we all have our character that we have to. If one is, if one is too proud to say sorry, the other one should be able to say I'm sorry. Whether you are wrong or you are not wrong, there are a lot of things that. If you want your marriage to last, the only thing that can just make it to last that you just feel like when you see something, you just shake it up like nothing happened. Bound to say, I'm sorry. And I am sorry, it goes a long way. So that is it. Okay. Okay, throughout that 10 years you've been in marriage. Yeah, uh, what is your greatest uh greatest uh, challenge, like the worst experience you've had in the marriage? Well, my worst experience I had was when I gave birth to my first issue. Because there was a lot of challenges, health condition that I was like, wow, was my first issue at my marriage, why is it like this? That I was saying, God, why is it like this? Why is it like this? But for my husband, that, in that moment, if I said I should 
very difficult, but with him, it was so easy, it was difficult because he was with me side by side, word of encouragement, word of everything, even though people were saying a lot of things, but when he speaks to me, I have relaxed mind. So that was my first, my challenges was my issue, my mind then was when I have my first issue because of his health condition. That was, but it was not so challenging because my husband was beside me, he was there with me. So that is, that is very good of him. Uh, let me ask you this now. Like, uh, what uh, what have you been doing? Like, if your husband is angry, what do you normally do to beg him? Okay, if he's angry, yes. I know that he's angry. My give his space. Okay. So when I look at his face, there are some communication I would look at through his face without speaking. I know that ah, this man is angry. That I don't have to add to his anger. I have to let him just relax. Just do like if I didn't see him, but I see him. But later I go back to him. I talk to him, we discuss, we share his body. If I'm not, I offend him. He said that, okay, I am sorry. I prepare his meal. I serve him. Dinner is ready. Lunch is ready. Then we eat together. We forget everything. Oh, that is very nice. Have you ever fed your uh, husband before? Yes. For real? Yes. Uh, I come from marriage. How, how often do you feed him? Ah. Uh, once I prepare food, before I will serve it for him, not that maybe I poison or something, just to show love. So, so then I mind. feed him, then I pick, he feed me back. So okay. that is it. Okay, with kiss or what? Uh-uh. I peck him, okay. I, keep, I feed him with the food, then I peck him. Yeah. Then he continue with his food. Yeah, that is very nice. Can you just like uh, make a shout out to your husband? Because you have been praising him since morning. Um, the guy, the man is a very good guy, for real. Because the way you have been talking about him, I can feel it. Can you just make a shout out to him over there? Mr. Stanley Timothy, I yes. want to say I love you from the bottom of my heart. Oh. Like I always say, if I come back to the next world again, you'll be the man I want to marry. Oh. I love you so much. Wow. From me to your children, we love you. Say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And God will keep you alive to celebrate. Those plans you have for us that you cannot accomplish now, God will keep you alive so it will come to pass in Jesus' Amen. name. Mr. Timothy, we love you too from My Media TV. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.